Good afternoon. Several POCs have recently acquired my Thinking Like a Data Scientist, a second edition, where I've made some pretty significant updates based on the methodology I've been using for the last, I don't know, 15 plus, plus years. And I wanted to use this as an opportunity, this video as an opportunity to explain the process and flow of the updated Thinking Like a Data Scientist methodology and how it leverages concepts from data science, design thinking, and economics in order to help us make certain that as an organization, we're using AI and data to deliver more relevant, meaningful, responsible, and ethical outcomes. So let's start this process. I'm gonna walk you through the eight steps in that methodology and explain how they all interact, how things start and, and, and ripple on through, and how we close the loop with a, a learning-based user experience. The entire process starts by, by focusing on something that's important to your organization. I call it a business initiative. Maybe it's a business challenge or a business opportunity, but it's something that your organization is trying to accomplish in the next 12 to 16 months. So there is a sense of urgency, and we want that sense of urgency in order to make certain that we have the necessary organizational and senior management buy-in and focus to see us through this entire process. We want to find something that's important and ideally find somebody in the organization whose hair is on fire. So they're really mandated to solve this problem. So we're going to start with that business initiative. And what we're going to do with that business initiative is we're going to ask some very fundamental questions to make sure we understand that business initiative. That is, what are the desired outcomes of this initiative? A business initiative might be, for example, improve customer retention, maybe re uh, improve on-time cover uh, product delivery to your customers, maybe improve patient treatment effectiveness, maybe reduce inventory costs, right? You've got some. You have these things in your organization that are important to the organization, and we want to focus on that, what's important, and understand, based on what you're trying to achieve, what are your desired outcomes? What are the benefits to the organization, the business and operational benefits? What are the potential impediments? I guess that's number three. Number four, what are the ramifications of failure? And number five, what are the potential unintended consequences of success? And so template one is all designed to capture those points around that business initiative, but it also, for each of those five different areas or panels, we're going to try to identify the KPIs and metrics against which we're going to measure the desired outcomes, the business benefits, the potential impediments, the failure ramifications, and the potential unintended consequences of success. So we're going to start building out a robust set of KPIs and metrics that are going to, at some point in time, show up in our AI utility function. We're also going to capture the desired outcomes that are going to show up later on in the process. So step one, understand the problem you're trying to solve. Bring together a bunch of people, students in my class, and brainstorm that problem across those five different dimensions. Step two in the process is to start empathizing with your stakeholders, those people and functions, both internal and external to the organization, who are impacted by that business initiative. And from them, what we understand is, you know, why is this initiative important to them? That is, what's in it for them? What are their desired outcomes? What are their potential impediments? What are the KPIs and metrics against which they're going to measure the desired outcomes? And what are the key decisions they need to make to support that? So we're starting to build out a real robust set of understanding from the stakeholders. And this is important from a couple of factors. Number one, you're going to learn that these stakeholders probably have the best idea around the variables and metrics that are better predictors of performance. They have all that organizational tribal knowledge. And we want to start unleashing that so we can use that to help drive better outcomes to achieve improve our decision making. But the second thing here is these are the folks who are likely to be using the results of the analytics. And if you want them to actually use them, adoption does not start when you deliver the analytics to them, adoption starts by involving them in the definition and design phase. So right away, we're gonna bring them into the process to make sure they're bought in, they understand their roles and how they're gonna use the results, the analytic results to help improve their, their decision-making processes to help achieve this business initiative. Now, at the same time we're doing that, we're gonna start our data science track. And we're gonna start basically around modeling our key business entities. Now, a business entity can be either a human or a device. A human can be a teacher, a nurse, a doctor, a technician, an operator, an athlete, right? Devices can be compressors, chillers, um, press machines, trains, uh, cars, right? We're going to start building up and applying the concept around nanoeconomics, which is we're going to start modeling, understanding each of these individual entities 
predicted behavioral and performance propensities. We're going to start building very detailed analytic profiles on each and every one of these entities because we're going to use that later on in our decision making process. We're going to use them to help empower our AI to help us make better decisions. So out of the empathy phase now, we're going to go down into the phase of identifying use cases. And use cases typically cluster around desired outcomes. So we're going to take the desired outcomes that came out of these two processes, look for similarities, and start clustering them into actionable use cases. Business initiatives are goals. Use cases are actions that we can take to achieve that. So you're going to, you're going to see these start with a verb like optimize, increase, reduce, right, improve. So these are actionable use cases driven around the desired outcomes. Now, what happens out of this process is you, for that business initiative, you probably have identified somewhere between 10, 12, 14 use cases necessary to support this business initiative. You can't do all 14, or right, all 18, or all 12. What we're going to do is we're going to prioritize based on value and feasibility to put together a roadmap of use cases where on a use case by use case basis, not only can we help to achieve this business initiative, but at the same time, we can employ the economies of learning so that whatever we learn from a data analytics and organizational perspective on the first use case can be reapplied in the second use case, reapplied on the third use cases and to really accelerate our ability to get value and, and reduce risk as we, as we basically on a use case by use case basis execute to achieve the business initiative. Out of these use cases, you're going to identify and prioritize one or two use cases. And from that, we're going to basically now start focusing on those one or two use cases. And we want to identify the decisions that those use cases need to empower, the stakeholders who are impacted by it, and the KPIs and metrics against which you're going to measure decision effectiveness. What happens at this point is we then move back to our data science stream. And we start thinking about what are the analytic scores and the machine learning features that are part of those analytic scores that we're going to use to help make better decisions. Right? We, we're going to use scores to help our stakeholders, whether automated or human driven, to make better decisions. And so these, these analytic scores are going to start to be identified and built out using ML features. And then we're going to drive that down into the actual development of the model. Here's where we start using the different types of AI capabilities. We've got the generative, we have the causal, we have the analytical and we have the um, autonomous. And we're gonna start actually using these scores to build models that we're gonna then use to drive the predictive recommendations that optimize the decisions that come down here. Yes, this is the linkage and mapping point. This is where you bring together the decisions the stakeholders are trying to make and you map them back to the recommendations being driven by the models and the scores around your business entities. All flows together to drive this and it all comes together and then at the very end. We want to create this learning-based user experience so that we've got a mechanism in place that it's been engineered in a way so that whatever we learn from the model, from the success and failures of models, algorithmically we capture them to improve our models here, our AI models, to improve our analytic scores, and to improve what we know of our business entity. So we're going to go through an algorithmic, algorithmic learning process, but we're also going to go through a human learning process where we're gonna take feedback from our humans who are using these systems, the, the front lines of the operation. We're gonna empower them to give us feedback as far as what's working, what's not working, and what their thoughts are as far as why. Think about reinforcement learning with human feedback to actually make sure we're feeding that back into our user system so we can trickle on back through. So this is the process we go through. Again, if you, if you have my thinking like a data scientist second edition, this is how it all ties together. If you don't have it, I'll put a, um, a link in the, in the, in the chat or in the comments section of this video so you can get it. It costs $2.99, but if it's too much, send me a, a DM on LinkedIn and I'll send you a free copy, a, a free PDF, right? And why am I giving this away? Why am I charging $2.99? Because at some point in your life, this becomes a passion. This is not about making money. This is about helping organizations and helping people understand their roles in those organizations to figure out how do they use AI and this wealth of data that has been captured to deliver more relevant, meaningful, responsible, and ethical outcomes. That's what it's really about. It's our chance to make certain that we're using AI to help everybody be successful. Anyway, thanks for listening. And um, I'm sure I'll see you on LinkedIn or all the other social media crazy places that people can hang out. Cheers. <laughs>